Okay, so I went ahead and took off the two clamps that are holding the uh, coupler. This one was a 10 millimeter and this one was an eight, eight mil. So once you have those off, just pop the hose off. gonna pull it out stock so my EGR valve I don't know if you can see it but it's down there and should be two 10 millimeters I'll be right back once I get uh, my socket set up and I'll show you how to take it out so a line about it being uh, 10 millimeter. <laughs> so that's gonna be a 12, and it's gonna be two bolts. Uh, I don't, yeah, there you can see it. It's right underneath that uh, hose clamp. It's one, that's the first one, and then the other one's at the bottom. I'll be right back once. Uh, so I managed get to uh, get the bolts off. They were really stuck in there. Um, but. I'll show you guys what two bolts there are. Uh, there's also gonna be two um, vacuum lines on the EGR. One in the bottom and one in the... Yeah, this one's out. Hell yeah. Okay. There we go, that's one. And this is the other one. Uh, can't really tell, but sorry, this camera is pretty shitty. Doesn't like zooming in or however you want to call it. Okay, so should be able to just pull it out. It's already loose. Hold on, can I grab it? Okay, so I got the EGR valve out. That's that's the um, the vacuum line you gotta take out, and then this one. So it sits like that. So you gotta pull this one out, and then you gotta feel for this one. Uh, but I'm gonna try to clean it up and see if it makes the check engine light uh, go away. So I'll be right back and I'll show you how I clean it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my EGR in this bucket and I'm gonna use some uh, um, carburetor cleaner. I bought this stuff off of uh, AutoZone or you can buy it from AutoZone Walmart or uh, any place that uh, sells car parts or... But yeah, you're just gonna spray it, spray the holes get all the carbon build up and and then um, uh, once you get it all clean you're gonna I'm gonna let it soak for a couple minutes so it gets everything out um, but yeah once it once you get it clean put it back uh, I'm gonna reset the code and see if, uh, if if there's still any pending codes after I clean it if there is then I'm gonna have to replace replace the uh, EGR valve but hopefully this thing works but yeah um, I'll be right back once I'm done cleaning it okay so I I spray some um, car, uh, carb cleaner on those two holes this port uh, this uh, vacuum port or whatever you want to call it and this other one I'm just gonna let it sit and let it dry once it's dried, I'm going to put it back. And how you put it back, it's going to be the same way you took it out. Um, you just, uh, you want to use a new gasket. Um, you can probably get, oh shit. You can probably get these gaskets at uh, AutoZone. Or if they don't carry it, if, if they don't carry them, then you have to buy them off of uh, 
online or something, I don't know. Or maybe you have. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna let it dry and uh, take a cloth in, in, in these holes and clean it out a little bit more. And then hopefully the chicken and light will go away. But uh, I'll be right back once I have everything uh, put back together. Or I'll show you how to put it back together so you guys don't have any problems. So to put it, it back um, and the, so the gasket doesn't fall, you want to put a, a one one of the bolts on through and then put the gasket on. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I gotta say you can do that for Be right back. I can't really do it with one hand. Okay, so I kind of got it in. I just put one bolt and just barely. Uh, you can't really see it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there's a bolt. See? So I just barely uh, screwed it on so I can have room to put the other one on. I'm going to put the, the bottom one and see if. Uh, can find it okay okay so I got both of them on I'm screwing them on right now so I got I got the you gotta make sure the your gasket doesn't fall but I'm gonna screw, screw them on there we go <laughs> just uh, tighten them my hand first uh, you don't want to run into uh, any problems when, if you're screwing it on with a ratchet, just in case uh, you, just in case it over or yeah, over threads or however you want to call it. It's really hard to do with one hand. Yeah, um, I would. really hard okay there you go good but yeah you want to do it by hand you don't want to tighten it with the your ratchet just your inches just in case it cross threads okay once it's tightened okay once it's tightened you want to by hand you want to go ahead and put your uh, 12 millimeter and uh, yeah, and tighten them with the ratchet. If you have a a ratchet with a uh, high tooth count, it would work a lot better in this situation, just because there's more room. I'm gonna switch ratchets. Be right, be right back. Okay, so I switched to a smaller ratchet because there's more room that way. You wanna get it snug. And then you're gonna find the other the other bolt. Sorry if I'm really bad at recording these, but it's kinda hard to do with one hand. Find the there you go. No, no, I can't. There you go. So I got it. Okay, and you gotta make sure it's snug because it doesn't leak. Just in case it it snaps the bolt or strips the thread, which would suck ass. Okay, so there we go. There, that one's good. Okay, so now you're gonna go on the back. I'm gonna hook this back up. I, I just unhooked it just so it gets out of my way. But there's gonna be. This uh, 
this one, the longest one, is gonna go on the bottom. If I can find it. So you wanna put the vacuum line back on. And there's gonna be another one next to it. Uh, and you're gonna put it on the side. So they're plugged on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back. So I'm gonna put back my my um, my intercooler piping, um, whatever you want to call this thing. Here, I'll, I'll come back once I get it on. Okay, so you're gonna put the clamps back and you're ready to go. So all you have to do now is come back to your car. Uh, unplug this thing, but you're gonna find your OVD2 port. There you go, it's plugged in. You want to make sure the um, the keys on, and I'm gonna have this thing load up again. Hopefully, this clears. read codes and okay guys so I went ahead and cleared the code um, and hopefully I uh, have to run the car for about 60 miles I believe to get everything in readiness um, but uh, my code reader says that I that it passes in mission so I'm still gonna run it uh, for uh, like I said 60 miles and get everything uh, heat up and get it to work and see if it actually cleared the the check in your light uh, hopefully it did hopefully I don't have to buy an, a new one um, but yeah uh, if, if you guys have the same problem I would clean it up first uh, and get uh, and reset the code if you don't have a code reader you can take it to AutoZone and they'll they'll read they'll read the code for you and uh, to e to erase the code you can unplug the left ba left battery terminal um, and hold the hold the gas or not the gas the brake pedal and for about three for about three seconds or so and once you put the uh, negative back it should clear the code um, but yeah I'm, like I said I'm gonna drive it for like 60 miles or something like that and then uh, if it doesn't come back I'll keep you guys updated uh, if it doesn't come back I'm gonna go and get it see if, uh, if it actually passes admissions because uh, I have to do admissions next month. Uh, and if it doesn't, I mean, if it does come back, then I'll have to buy a new EGR valve. Uh, you can get them online or you can go to the Mitsubishi um, dealership for this car. Or like, or if you have another car, you can uh, find it anywhere else or at your dealership. Or you can like, I'm, got, I'm probably gonna buy mine online. Uh, but yeah guys, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any more questions about the video, uh, let me know in the comment se section. And uh, 